In the previous tutorial I've shown you how you can enter data manually into your worksheet in Micros Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial I'll show you a bit more about the formatting options you have available for the data that you have entered. Formatting is most applicable to uh, numeric values and therefore I will continue using a numeric value in this example. As you can see I've entered uh, a number in one of the cells and I want to uh, apply a specific format to this uh, number. As you can see here, uh, by default uh, Microsoft Excel uses the general uh, format, which means that for a number no specific format uh, will be applied. But you can also choose one of the available predefined uh, formatting options that are available from the drop-down. Uh, these options can be seen in more detail by opening up the format cells dialog box by clicking on the arrow in the right bottom corner of the uh, number section. Again you can see the same uh, categories that you saw on the drop down box uh, at the top and you can specify the category that you want to use and even uh, uh, make changes to some of the specific uh, characteristics of the category. For example if I would select number I could make changes to the number of decimal places and I can indicate whether I want to use a thousand separator or not. For currencies, again, you can choose the decimal places, but you can also choose uh, the symbol that you want to use by selecting one from the drop down box. The same applies for uh, the accounting options. If you want to specify it as a date, you can choose which date format you want to use and date formats as you know can be depending on the locale. The currently selected locale is the US locale which means that the uh, months are displayed before uh, the dates but if I would pick the UK locale you would say that it would be the other way around. Uh, play around with these settings and find the, uh, the format that you find most applicable to your situation. You can also define it as a time, where again the locale has influence on the format that, uh, that can be used. You can also define that you want to use it as a percentage, where you can specify decimal places again. If you are uh, using fractions, you can uh, choose to uh, display the number as a fraction and choose which format you want to use can also choose to display the numeric value as a scientific numeric value where again you have the option of uh, using the decimal places. You can also choose to uh, define your number as uh, text which means that, uh, that there will be no formatting applied. You can also use uh, one of the special uh, categories which in the UK uh, locale doesn't have any predefined types but if I would choose the US version, I could choose one of these predefined types, for example zip code or phone number format or social security uh, number format. The last option you have is uh, to use a custom uh, type where there's a whole list of available types mainly applicable to uh, date and number uh, numeric values. And select one of the, the types that you want to uh, uh, use from the list. In this case I choose to use the uh, currency. I will leave the uh, symbol to the, the US dollar sign and I will use the uh, two decimal places as uh, is used in the default and click OK and the changes are applied. In this tutorial I've shown you how to use the formatting options that you have available when you have entered data into your Microsoft Excel uh, worksheet. Uh, 